Hey guys, Mickey Tech here, and yes, you can guess it by the bowl of water. This is the waterproof test of the Sony Xperia M2 Aqua. Now, I have the device here in my hand. Um, thanks to Vodafone, all the ports are sealed up. Thanks to Vodafone again for sending this out for me to review. Um, I love waterproof phones. I think, you know, it's a really good idea. Especially ones you can video and take photos of underwater. So what we're going to do here straight away is we're going to go to YouTube. We'll just wait for, hopefully, for that to load up pretty quick. We're going to go to one of my videos. And just for YouTube out there that kind of like doing people over a little bit. Look, the Mickey Tech. This is my own video. Um, so I'm going to start playing this. And we're going to pop it underwater. As you can see, it is playing underwater. And this is a good amount of water. I think, like I said in my unboxing video, this can go up to, I think it's 1.5 metres or something like that in water. So there's the video actually playing underwater. Absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do now, still playing, you can hear the speaker um, as I just closed it. We'll just give it a quick wipe. So I can keep the, uh, obviously with wet hands and that, the screen will go funny. Uh, now we're going to go into the camera. There we go. We are filming. Now gone into the camera. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to hit record on front facing. And we are going to record. There we go. And we can take pictures obviously outside um, of the water. Now it's going under the water. We'll put the camera over so you can now see. Now we'll see if we can push. It doesn't look like you can use the buttons underwater, but apparently there is a feature um, that does m allow you to take photos underwater. So what we're going to do now, we'll just stop the recording there. We'll just close all of that. And we'll go to there so you can listen to it. There you go. And we can take pictures obviously outside um, of the water. And now I've put it in the water. And you can still just about hear me. So that is really, really good. I'm quite impressed with that. Just give the phone a wipe again so I can um, come out of this. So what we're going to do then, I'm just going to have a quick look to see if there's any options of us being able to use it underwater with a certain... Here we go, is there anything here? No, nothing on there. I have heard there is an option um, that you can actually use underwater to take your photos a lot easier than you can outside. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put it like this, we're going to turn it round, we're going to put it in the water, and we're going to see if we can, it won't allow me to actually take photos underwater, um, but there, I know there is a feature for this. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to cut here quickly, and I'm going to quickly see what that function is, because I know there is one, so I'll be back in just a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back quickly after that, uh, quick, just, just to find out. And what I can actually find out, I, I didn't believe you can actually take, um, photos underwater, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, there might be a way of possibly doing screenshots of the photo, which then you could have it. But you could obviously take video underwater, which I suppose can, is more impressive than a photo. But you probably can screenshot the photo. Uh, a, a way of getting round of having to touch the button, um, the camera button on the screen. But apart from that, really successful water test. Really impressed. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe. And it really does help me out with thumbs up the video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.